you are overthinking manifestation. It's not supposed to be this hard. It's not supposed to be this difficult. It's not supposed to be this lengthy. It's not supposed to take this much work. Whatever it is that you're feeling right now about a manifestation that's not coming true, if it's causing you stress, if it's causing you to spend lots of time on it, then I'm telling you now, you're probably doing it wrong. But don't worry, today we're gonna go over exactly how you can fix that and how I, through my own experiences, have learned probably the hard way how manifestation is so much easier than we think and I'm here to share that message with you so that you don't have to go through it yourself. So let's not waste more time, let's get straight into the video. If you are interested in content all about manifesting, law of attraction, Taoism, self-improvement, self-development, etc, etc, then please do give this channel a subscribe. It is my goal in 2021 to reach as many people as possible, to teach them life doesn't have to suck. That is my goal with Temple of Sunshine. And if you could help me with that, it would just mean so much to me. So please give this channel a subscribe and please like this video so people know it's of value. But anyway, let's get into the topic today. Manifestation shouldn't be this hard. I have in the past been obsessed with manifestations, some I have completely forgotten about when I asked for them. And I can tell you which one out of the two manifested quicker or easier. Sometimes it's not always quick, but it requires no effort from me. And you know what, with manifestation, I know there's a lot of channels and even myself, I've told you in the past that the law of attraction needs action, you know, like the end of attraction, it needs action, it needs some action from you. But some things, if you have a lack of resistance and you let it go enough, it happens with seemingly no effort. Maybe you have made some effort and you don't realise, but it completely feels like you've made no effort. And if you want that to be the case with some of your bigger manifestations that you care about a lot, one of the key things you can do is detach. It's difficult, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's, it's definitely the way that I've managed to get things um, that I really, really cared about into reality quicker and easier. However, there are certain times where I think that I've detached, but I've not really detached. I've just tried really hard not to think about something, but it still triggers me. But if you are interested in detachment, I'm going to put a video up here in the cards that you can go check out and listen to all about detachment and how that helps your manifestation come in quicker. Today, we're talking about how to make manifestation easy and how you've probably come off the right path into um, you know, getting into a sea of manifesting jargon, watching too many videos, probably reading too many books. And I'm, I'm about to simplify everything for you today. <laughs> Just a note, I really wish I was joking, but there's a heat wave in the UK right now and it's like 30 degrees Celsius or whatever. And I'm sat next to my fan and I keep having to pause filming to turn my fan on to cool down because I just can't talk and I'm worried that I'm getting really like glazed <laughs> in front of the camera <laughs> so anyway uh, you might be able to hear my fan sorry about that it is very noisy but it's just so hot here um so bear with me so if you know of abraham hicks or neville goddard you will know that a lot of their theories and law of attraction teachings are based on the fact that you need to be feeling good and when my coaching clients speak to me first one of the first things i ask them uh, you might have seen me ask this to people under my YouTube comments or TikTok comments. Go follow my TikTok for shorter videos. But um, I always ask people, are you feeling good 90% of the time, 90% of your day? Are you feeling good? The answer is usually no. That's probably why you're having a problem with manifestation. And one thing I have really realised is when I, for example, last night, I went and saw a friend, had a great evening. I was barely on my phone, barely checking emails, just feeling good, laughing and smiling, genuinely feeling good, like not forcing myself to feel good, feeling good without worrying about anything because I was with my friend and having great conversation. I came home and opened up um, just something on my phone. I realized that something had manifested that I'd been sitting on for a while. So you can see that it's naturally feeling good. That's really going to bring about your manifestations quickly. Neville Goddard says feeling is the secret. He says engage in the feeling of the wish already fulfilled. Obviously, I'm paraphrasing, but he has a quote that says pretty much exactly that you know, engage in that feeling. So let's say, uh, and, and I'm bringing this back to manifestation basics. Let's say you're an avid visualizer or you're an avid scripter, both of which I have videos on in this channel. If you don't know what that is, please go check those out. 
But if you are either one of those, you know that one of the key things is to engage in the feeling. There's no point in you visualizing driving your dream car or scripting about your dream uh, relationship if you're not gonna engage in the feeling. You can be like, I am so happy and grateful for my perfect husband. But if you're not engaging in how that makes you feel, it's gonna be quite a wasted activity. Well, not completely wasted because you get to know what you want and don't want, but engaging in the feeling is what actually makes things manifest, especially in scripting and visualization. And that's also why it raises your vibration because when you're writing this thing, you're getting really excited about this dream life, about this manifestation of yours. You're getting really like pumped up to drive this car that you've been dreaming of or have this job that you've always wanted. And that feeling stays with us. And that's what helps it manifest. That's why things manifest is because we're on the feeling, the frequency, the vibrational frequency of our manifestation. So if you're here 90% of your day and your desires are here, how do you expect to fill this gap? Now you're probably asking me, well, how does this make manifestation easy? How does this make manifestation fun? We are overcomplicating it, guys. I know I'm telling you, be in the feeling of the wish fulfilled. So let's say you're waiting for a job interview or a job confirmation to come in that you interviewed for. So maybe your feelings of that would be relief and excitement. Now, it's kind of hard to walk around with relief and excitement at all times. You know, it's kind of hard to cook your breakfast with relief. It's kind of hard to um, read a book with excitement. It might not be for some of you, but you get my point. Like you can't stay in the feeling of winning the lottery or getting married constantly every day. But what you can do, and this is what Abraham Hicks and Neville Goddard and pretty much every law of attraction teacher goes on and on about is work on your vibration at any given moment. Abraham Hicks says that you have an emotional guidance system. And that's pretty much, if you ask yourself at any given time, how are you feeling? And the answer's not good, you know, it has to be at least good. If the answer's not good, then you gotta do something about it. What they say to do about it is reach for a better feeling thought. So if you're in a bout of anxiety, affirm the opposite of your anxious thoughts. If you're just feeling a bit meh, a bit bored, Think about things in your life you're grateful for. If I'm feeling a bit meh, you know, something's not exactly wrong, but I'm not feeling, you know, great, I'll just start practicing gratitude. I'll force myself to say 10 things I'm grateful for. And it always reminds me how blessed I am. Um, and it can be basic things, by the way. It can be like, I'm really thankful for cake or I'm really thankful for my shoes. You know, it can be small things all the way up to I'm thankful for my family, I'm thankful for my job, my wealth, my income, etc. However, if you're in low mood depression or anxiety, Definitely keep going with reminding yourself that you are protected, you are safe, and always when you have a negative thought, affirm it with a positive. So if you're like, I'm scared to lose my job, always affirm my job is safe and I'm good at my job, for example. And it's not gonna work the first time, the second time, the third time, but with repetition, you're gonna start believing it. That is the power of affirmation, but it takes repetition. However, we're getting back to the point, we're going off on a tangent. The easiest way to make your manifestations come about, like I just said, something manifested when I was doing nothing. It took no effort from me at all. It came true randomly after I had a good evening with my friend. I just had a really good time where I was in the present moment, smiling and laughing. You know, was I in the ecstatic feeling of my manifestation coming true the whole time? No, I was just simply in a good mood. I was happy. Things you can do to make this happen are pretty much choosing what's going to make you happy in the moment. I don't mean this in some extreme hedonistic way. I posted a TikTok recently telling people that you've just got to feel good and that's what makes your manifestation come true. And I think some people took it the wrong way. People took it in the way that you should literally only worry about your temporary happiness and destroy your complete life and, you know, go off and do, I don't know stuff that's gonna make you happy in the meantime but isn't actually good for anyone. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about really simple things. You're feeling a bit down. You love coffee. Is a little like warm frothy coffee gonna make you feel better for a minute? Go do that. You're feeling a bit overwhelmed at work. Is going to have a little five minute meditation session gonna make you feel better? Yes. Is calling your friend gonna make you feel better? Yes, go do that. Pick something in the moment that raises your vibration, even temporarily, because the longer in our life we can, well, in our days, but of course in our life, we can stay in that good mood. And the good mood doesn't have to be ecstatic. You don't need to be doing cartwheels and running around yelling that you're happy. You just need to be feeling good, like just good. 
and it's all you need. The longer in our days, if we can get that to 90% of our day, and this becomes easier and easier, by the way, this is not supposed to be work. You know what makes you happy. Even if you are a permanently miserable person like I used to be, there are certain things that make us happy. It might be browsing online shopping. I'm not saying money equals, you know, buying stuff equals making you happy. Don't fall in those habits. Find simple things. It might be browsing things. It might be spiritual work like visualizing or meditating. It might simply be calling a friend, scrolling Twitter and laughing at memes. It can be so simple. It could be watching YouTubes. Whatever it is, reach for the better feeling thought, like Abraham Hicks says, reach for a better feeling activity in the moment. I understand if you're at work and you have to just get on with your shift, it's not easy, but go and speak to a co-worker that makes you happy. Disappear to the toilet for five minutes and just breathe and, and recenter. When you feel yourself slipping, come back to yourself. That's all it takes. You've just got to be feeling just above neutral. You've just got to be feeling good. I'll put the Dr. David Dawkins uh, or Hawkins chart up here. You need to be around that sort of just when it starts to get good. It doesn't need to be ecstatic all the time. Being ecstatic all the time allows things to come in at lightning speed, yes. But for most of us who are just trying to manifest things that we really see as huge and we have maybe a lack of belief, just feeling good is going to bring about so many improvements. It's going to make you manifest so much quicker and it doesn't need to be difficult. When I say manifestation shouldn't be difficult, it doesn't require you sitting down every night with a million crystals, a notepad, scripting, visualizing. You don't need to be doing work every day. This isn't a part-time job. You should simply only do a manifestation technique if it feels good to you. Manifestation, and I know a lot of you aren't gonna like this, is simply prayer. Whether you believe in God or not, um, in the spiritual community, we like to call it the universe because the G word really puts people off, but also universe is a very good way to explain how we're all connected and made of the same sort of atoms and materials. Um, I talk about this in my vibration video, so you can go check that one out as well if you're interested. But basically, um, it's simply prayer. It's simply putting your hands together. Instead of saying, please, please, please give me this, it's saying, thank you that I already have this. And by saying thank you that I already have this, you get a feeling of, oh, I already have this. When you're asking and going, please, 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 can I have this? That's making you realize I don't have this dream car, this dream job, this boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. But when you say, I already have my dream partner, thank you, I already have my dream job. It makes you feel empowered, it makes you feel good inside. And that is why manifestation is simply prayer. That's all you have to do. You have to ask the universe once, Go off and feel good and forget about it and enjoy your life and it will come to you. We are overcomplicating it, guys. We live on a floating rock. We live on a floating rock that appeared out of, you know, particles all coming together. And I, I do believe in a God, in, in, in creation, in, in deliberate creation, but I don't believe in a God in the sort of traditional Western Christian way. I very much see it as a universal energy. And I do believe that we are all here for a reason. We all have a purpose. There's a reason why we were born. There's a reason why our souls took the form of this body. And there is a reason why you're here. And it is to manifest good things. It is to live a good life. It is your birthright that you're here to experience human experiences. It's your birthright to experience different places in the world and go traveling it's your birthright to go see you know different cultures and eat different foods and have a great partner and enjoy the joys of maybe having children if you want them it's your you know it can take it down to something more frivolous maybe it is your birthright to go and enjoy the speed of a lamborghini whatever it is just feel good and it's coming. Your intentions are already there. Abraham Hicks calls this step one out of the three step process. Step one is pretty much asking for things. And they said, you know, by the advent of being human, we're gonna keep asking for things, right? Natural, it's only natural to want things. It's only natural to have desire. Just by going about life, we're gonna want things. You're gonna walk past someone and see them wearing a pair of shoes and you're like, I want those pair of shoes. It's only normal. We're gonna constantly, as Abraham Hicks calls it, be launching rockets of desire but beyond that our only work is feeling good and Abraham Hicks says this all the time feeling good is the work feeling good is the work feeling good is the work Neville Goddard feeling is the secret so just stay in a good mood man that's all it is I really hope you take one thing from this video and, and that is just feel good just feel good and if you can't then go and 
think a better thought or go do something that's going to make you feel at least neutral and then try and flip it to feeling good i do this all the time regardless of my responsibilities in the moment like obviously i you know i still meet my work deadlines and i i'm, I'm never like late to things and whatnot but if i can if there's some wiggle room i'll go and just do what i enjoy for a bit because at the end of the day i have to live this life if I survive till the average sort of life expectancy of 80 years old, I don't want to spend all these extra years in my life burdened by like, why is my manifestation or burdened by responsibility or feeling like, oh, I'm not doing life right. Doing life right is simply just enjoying yourself because God or the universe has put you here to experience this wonderful world with so many amazing things. So. If you enjoyed this video, then please do like and subscribe. I've enjoyed filming it so much because this came from the soul. This message came from my heart. This message felt really good to deliver and I hope you enjoyed receiving it. Um, please do subscribe if you love this kind of content because uh, I could talk and talk and talk about this content. So <laughs> I'm here. See you guys in the next upload.